Good morning, Good morning, Uzbekistan. It's yeah. time to say morning, right? Yeah, you're right. It's already 9.30 in Uzbekistan and it's time to say good morning. Yes. Just like you say. Uh -huh. Hello, dear viewers. Nice to see you again in our TV program called Good Morning, Uzbekistan. And I'd like to say good morning, dear viewers, because uh, it's really amazing time to watch us because mm -hmm. we have a few I mean a lot of interesting things to watch we have guests so stay with us because we have a lot of interesting things pages right yeah. so today so. is 2nd of February so yes. happy February day yeah. uh, yesterday was 1st February yeah. so today is 2nd February yes yeah, second uh, I mean second day of February is yeah. Friday but if we had 1st February on Friday we would like to say just hello dear viewers congratulate you with first day of February mm -hmm. and it's worth to know that February is the last month of winter you know really yeah I think yeah okay <laughs> I think uh, logical I think that the weather just decided just to ultim uh, just give its ultimate power and mm -hmm. give us uh, their winter snows like their reserves of all snow mm -hmm. yesterday, today, and hopefully tomorrow we will have amazing, uh, I mean, snowy weather. Like, it's not that cold, it's not that uh, warm, it's the perfect weather, perfect temperature uh -huh. for winter. For winter, yeah. right? So, so it's so, so perfect. You know yes. what? Today is really interesting day. Really? Actually, yes, this is a little bit interesting because today is worldwide. Uh, world play your ukulele day. Yes, ukulele yes. day. So, do you, you know, have any that kind of instruments at your house? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you have, maybe you don't have, but it doesn't yeah. matter. It, it is just a play your ukulele day. Yes. So, ukulele is a, a instrument, a musical instrument like a guitar, but uh, had a difference from the guitar. This is right. a little bit little. Yeah, uh, mini size. Uh, mini size, yeah. yes. Uh, I'd like to. Perfect. mention a few things about this day okay so uh, first of all mm -hmm. everyone loves the sound of guitar yeah it's true it's yes. totally true right yes we have a lot of friends guitar. That, can, yeah, uh -huh. that can play guitar however there are also other types of musical in mm -hmm. okay. and uh, before we continue I'd like to remind today's riddle of the day oh really okay uh, so today's riddle of the day is they come out at night without being called and mm -hmm. they are lost in the day without being stolen. What yes. are they? You can give your answers by calling to numbers like 712141765 and second number is 712141767. So, That's right. Yeah, don't hesitate to call us and we are looking for you, for mm -hmm. what for your call. Mm -hmm. So now, so we, now can we can uh, yeah. invite one person like I said with an energetic okay. person energetic person so yes. as a big wholesome boy uh, yeah so today this person hi hi there hello, hello. good morning Uzbekistan. good morning hello. everybody hi good afternoon it's already good morning, right? Uzbekistan, so good morning. Did I tell your name correctly or it's not like that? Asadbek? No, yes, it is correct. It's, yeah. Asadbek is A-C-A-G-B. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, can we sit? So. No, I'm not sitting because today it really interesting excitement day you said like this. Oh, yeah, great! Yeah. The word to was how the word is for me. This is uh -huh. really so. exciting. Exciting, yeah, this uh, yeah. news. You so see, I am getting energy. His, yeah. Really? Yes, I'm yeah. getting energy. energetic. You are. Yeah, you thank are. You, thank you. So, so, can we sit? We. Yeah. yeah. Can we? Yeah. yeah we are here. sitting. So, now we mm -hmm. will sit and okay. uh, after some time, we'll you will know information, some informations from Asad Beg and Asad mm -hmm. Well, Asad Beg will provide the show. Please welcome. Okay, okay, thank you for this opportunity. Firstly, just it's really excitement day for this and I think you were going to learn a lot of things today so we have we uh, so we will learn about logistic industry what is this let me okay. write on desk you can yeah okay, right thank on the you desk. okay 
my handwriting. Uh, you can so. press harder because okay. yeah. My handwriting is so awful. I'm no, sorry no, for it's that. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Logistics. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's my uh, you know Just. faculty. Really? Yeah, I study at it's. the Faculty of Marketing and Logistics. Logistic. Wow. Uh, especially 21st century and nowadays I am hearing this word a lot yeah. in the outside. Logistic. Are you familiar? Logistic. Yes. Logistic. Yeah, it is logistics. So it's really popular. increasing. Yeah, popular right now in yeah. so many Uzbeks right now working, working like at logistics. logistic companies. Like so many. They are working with uh, US, uh, US status like companies like brokers. Yes, so it is really increasing. So, what is logistics? So, logistics is crucial component and global trade in commons about like responsible for, uh, for the uh, movement and stretch of the goods from one location to another. So, it is, I want to give you one of the examples from this, like so many logicians know it like this. For example, A point to B, like it is like Delivering transportation, like uh -huh. it's logistics, something like you have like customer service or products, you are delivering to point B. Uh -huh. Like this, logistic is this. Yeah, I it get is. it. Uh huh. But you know, it okay. sounds it sounds like simple that it has nothing to do, but actually, it's really hard job. It's really is difficult. it hard job? Yeah. Ah it yes, is. it is little bit, little bit. But one word I want to say is. Easy peasy from the busy. Like, Whoa. yes, it is really a lot of people like uh, saying like easy peasy from eliminate quizy like this. Uh -huh. But it's not my word. Uh, my word is easy, easy peasy, peasy from, from the, the busy. busy. It is wow. really meaningful yeah. because easy peasy from the busy. Yeah. Great. B busy means like you are like practicing, you're sitting, and you are busy. Then oh. it's going to be like easy for you like it's yeah. like attractive and it's for your satisfaction like Whoa. satisfaction or uh -huh, something uh -huh. like this so, so good what, word. yeah it's what, a good word i recommend yeah. all of you so what just saying yourself what interesting things do you have for us about logistics yes today, uh, today yeah. i want to explain to all of you like it's general thing like what is logis logistic how it works like this kind of simple thing okay. that we have like it's general i think yes so it is companies what ranges rolling so uh, actuators including transportation like transportation is important so we have so many things to learn like logistics i think uh, the four steps they have like they have air, air. transportation and we have so it's the type of transportation, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's transportation for delivering your products. Mm -hmm. Water we have, and then and two. then we have like rail, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we have road. Oh, oh. it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Road. So I think road is most common in Uzbekistan, yeah. also U.S. truck business, trucking business. Yeah. Like road, we can say like it is truck and trailer. How I can, how I can words like, like truck and and you know trailer. there is also trailer. Yeah, it is like it is the most common and most cost effective and most safest one because if like. Uh, if we are like work with air like it is damaged and you have to waste the most like Money. it is more expensive than road and yeah. trailer also you have to like they have mechanic and transportation you need to so water is not safest one if they're like trailer some kind of like uh, uh, could you wait imagine storms. like water yeah. so there's so many damage it can be like your products so uh -huh. sorry for interrupting uh, uh, you okay, know uh, the fun fact that there is also fifth type of transportation which is tube like oil gas that are transported through tube mm. but it's not the common types of transportation because it's it's like lim limited of limited types of products that could be transported through tubes by tubes yeah yes oh. especially like this so uh, i think that is really important for the world it is like you can do with this logistic industry you can do e import export like this 
I think one of mo uh, the most Americans they never cannot leave like logistics because you do you know USA states like they need like transportation with their products they have really so many business and they yeah. need products to deliver like the logistic Amazon. is yeah. helpful for your like and safest and cheapest one to deliver your products mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah it is really important thing it is use. really important i think yeah. yeah it is really important and it's also helpful for your business oh mm -hmm. yes helpful right. for our business yeah like if you have a big market like it was mm -hmm. do you know it was so many market they uh -huh. they have and so they need more products and they import and export other states like uh -huh. Uh, like factors, all of this, like you know, they're like Washington to the Colorado, this kind of thing that's like A to point B, like this half of thing. Yeah. Okay, Would fine. you like to work in logistics in the future? Yes, uh, I have a little bit experience about this because I like, have experiment. Not too much, but a little bit. A little bit. Yes, uh, just I want to explain one thing that for all of two people, like in Uzbekistan also we have logistic companies, so many logistic, like uh, we are working with Americans like USA states, mm -hmm. but uh, so many, so many things in logistics logistic are Uzbeks like they are working uh -huh. the companies and drivers also for, uh, they are living at US states but they are Uzbek wow. like driver wow. so they have the uh, they are citizens of Uzbekistan but working US yeah working right? US like driver as wow. like driver wow. yes we have uh, yeah so many yeah. information about this okay uh, so in Uzbekistan we can find we can find like if you want to work with US states like you can find like jobs like fleet specialist safety updater dispatcher wow. hr manager oh, and hr manager uh, hr manager and we have recruiter specialist wow. like so I want to work as a hr manager uh -huh. yeah it is really interesting and, it is yeah. really interesting yeah easy job in logistics <laughs> i think <laughs> but uh, but but when it comes to truck and trailer if they kind of damage or accident hr manager should yeah they are complete in something yeah. like prove yes. it or fix it this truck and they, so that's why I, i'm not working <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really I'm not yeah. working. hey difficulties you may face if you work like maybe hr if, manager if it's uh, like uh if it requires a great effort maybe they make a great money you know in logistics great money yeah of course yeah so in the of beginning money. of the logistic you may face like a little bit cost uh, you can uh, you can find like a lots of money mm -hmm. but when it comes to year by year like experience if you reach like mm -hmm. then you are gained a lot of money first time you can get like it's up to you work for example mm -hmm. first time uh, like a, a normal stuff mm -hmm. uh, of logistic you can earn like two million soon I think no. to no Not for, that. for starting yeah for starting the easiest right one of work yeah. and then mm -hmm. it can increase to the it four increase. to the five to the seven and then mm -hmm. and then yes it's right now in Uzbekistan we can find like this but it was the, uh, in the past like this cost is like cheapest nobody wants to work like this because you have to work like nine cheap like eight hour ten hour even even do twelve hour yeah. Could you imagine like it is the far away so many things there that you a, should do. Yeah. There is a friend of mine who works in logistics. Uh -huh. He says that it's really hard because night shifts, twelve hours of work, like uh, without sleeping, it's really hard. However, his salary, his yeah. he says that it's uh, he has agreed salary so that he won't quit the, his job. Mm. So, I think that. Logistics is uh, one of the, let's say, developing uh, spheres of the economy uh, today in today's world, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it Just is. like you said in the beginning. Yes, it actually began it at USA state, like mm. 1960s. It oh, yeah. In the US, right? Like yeah, the then it uh, began it to Korea, Japan, like this, and then increase it the world yeah. I uh -huh. think yeah uh, in Japan Korea I think the nearly water they are working with like water like boots with boots 
and yeah. air is the airplane. You can work only with airplanes, oh. and rail is tra like trailer or something like this. I would like love this. to work in the airplane. Airplane. Yes. Uh, uh, it's if the you most work like expensive one, it, it is really expensive one. Like uh, air one is like you need also truck and trailer. Oh. Yes, yeah. it is road. Uh, it is like. Air is not uh, airplane not coming to this your right place, so to speak. It's right. Yeah. You have to cost like truck and trailer. You need to do. Oh. It is so to yeah. say, so to say, it is like most expensive one. Most expensive. Aha! Uh -huh, you can continue your work. So and um, your scanner, you if you want. Okay, not too much. Yes. So at USA right now, a lot of work is as many that US. Companies they don't have any like fleet or like updaters in Uzbekistan. Only we can face like updaters. Like dispatcher, dispatcher. If you work at like dispatcher, it's not easy. Like you are work with brokers. Like okay. brokers, like oh, I can say this. You can just clean the first. Uh, yeah. brokers. Wow. It is, yeah, it is communicate with your customer. They are delivering like shipments, they can handle it. Mm -hmm. oh. It's so, really helpful. I have a question for you. Okay, can you give it? It's open in the US, right? In the US, there are so many people who want to work, right? Uh -huh, right. But in, in around the uh, world, mm -hmm. in around the world, in the earth, there are so many countries. They are working nowadays as a logistic for a US. Mm -hmm. Am I yes. right? Yeah, you and are right. Why why they are connecting with different countries? Yes, uh, in logistic we have also international, but it's the for type like the most common at USA, so that's way. Like we have also like Asia, it's like logistic, we have Uzbekistan for the like regions. Tashkent to Fargana, we have also like this. Oh, mm. we have, right? Yeah, oh, we have. So in Uzbekistan, also we have logistic companies for all the Uzbek uh, Uzbek's regions. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. Great. So, what should we do for uh, for working as a logist? As a logist, so yeah. if you want to open a company, it's not easy. You have to uh, you have to know all of the way. Should uh, you should know about this uh -huh. so first step is like sorting jobs like Short, sorting if job. you want to be like dispatcher mm -hmm. it is the most you have to work like updater okay. mm -hmm. so then you can step by step increasing your salary then you have experience then you are going to dispatcher okay. and so if you want to like as fleet or safety you have to learn only fleet or safety like fleet like they are the managing more they are uh, looking for truck and trailer, like they have to like safest mm -hmm. or like documentary. They will work uh, all the same. They work with like paper, papers. Yeah, documents. documentary yeah. like this kind of, oh, and they have so many things and so truck and trailer. So when it comes to you, uh, in which uh, vacancy would you like to work, like updater or just HR yeah, manager? I work at an updater. Updater, oh. right? Then yeah. I move it to fleet department, oh. fleet. Wow. Fleet. Yeah. So good. And nowadays Great. you're working or no? Yes. Uh, not working, like I'm training right now. I'm just. Oh, you're training. Uh, right? I'm learning right now. And mm -hmm. the beginning of the, um, like, middle of the February, I will begin to work at so, Logistic oh, Company. Yeah. It's so great. it was really interesting. Yes, it, it was, was really, really interesting. informative. Yeah. Do you have anything to say to conclude your uh, amazing lesson about logistics? Okay, okay. I said a previous one like easy, busy from the busy. I know that it's not easy. So if you want to open your open company, so you have to work like simple job. Like you should begin like simple stuff. Like yeah. first step by step, like you will increase. I know it's not increase the first step, but what we should do? Maybe, we train. Right? So yeah. Why not? Yeah. Practice. Yeah. A perfect practice makes you perfect. Perfect practice, not yeah. just a practice. Yeah, right? not the, just practice. Perfect, perfect practice makes you perfect. Yeah. So wow. say to yourself to this words. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for all of you. Thank you for your uh -huh. And have a nice awesome. day. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you. So, and Lady. Bye bye. Bye. It was so. 
informative. In, it was informative. Yeah. It was really useful for everybody who wanted to work like a logist. Yeah. For example, if our viewers would like to work in logistics, it would be really helpful for them to know about this these information. These informations. Yeah. Yes. Let's have we a seat. Sit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now we can sit and tell the video yeah. of the day last time. <laughs> And uh, Rudil, we will tell the answer. So I'll tell the riddle of the day. I will tell the you answer. will tell the answer. Okay. okay, dear viewers, today's riddle of the day is: uh, They come out at night without being called, but they are lost in the day without being stolen. What are they? The answer is. The answer is. Stars! Yeah. Yes! If I'm not Answering mistaken, a, a few, let's say, viewers who called us were totally right. They right. said stars. And one of them said that you spoiled the answer. Oh, yeah, I spoiled yeah. the answer. But Fortunately. It, yeah, it was really, actually, it was a really, really simple question. Simple question. When I was just uh, reading the scenario before uh, <laughs> just preparing to this show. I, I made this Yeah. Uh, I first read the question like, oh, it's obvious, it's a star. And I, I like stars. Yeah. And, and uh, I just uh, got the one string down and uh, read it's the answer. Stars, it's right? stars, yeah, it's oh. obvious. Yeah. Yes, maybe it's this question is uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit easy. Yeah. No. It's just easy question. It is yeah. really, really easy question because so, so because stars, uh, mm -hmm. they are really different topic. For example, uh, mm -hmm. there are so many, so many positive uh, effects when you look at the stars at night. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I know one information about looking at the stars. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, boost your imagination. Yeah. You see, you can just increase your uh, what can I say uh, let's Just say knowledge about astronomy no knowledge time. imagination uh, you can have a, a big imagination by looking yeah. at the stars and and uh, it some, is healthy is it healthy yes it is because really healthy. some uh, nerdy information from me uh -huh. yeah, yeah you know the the most closest star for us for our solar system is in a distance of three years of light speed. It means that if you will travel with a speed of light, you will go to the to this star in a three years. So in the three years, yeah. you know what? I also have information. Yeah. So we have uh, so many stars, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, three years, yeah, three right? Three light years. Uh, three light years, and yeah. we do have a stars like a yeah. thousand. Light thousand years, oh, thousand yeah. light years, million, Maybe, even yeah, million. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in a nearly time, I talked with one uh, person, mm -hmm. a really great person he is, uh -huh. and I got information from him. So yeah. he told me he just talked to me about the not stars, mm -hmm. about just uh, information we can say like not mm -hmm. fact, but it was like. Uh, we do have like that a thousand years light, mm -hmm. uh, light year stars. Mm -hmm. So maybe they are not uh, existing, existing right, now. right now. But if you yeah. are still watching them at night, but they are, but they are no. Maybe we they are any, gone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they already gone in the uh, in the yeah. sky, sky in yes, the space. In the yeah. space, but we are still can look. At them because but of uh, because of the time ah, line. So you basically, see? we are seeing the image of the stars that were a thousand years ago. Thousand, in the back. Yes. Yeah. Did you get me? Yeah, I got you. Uh, when he said to me this information, I got it like after ten minutes. You see. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it is really interesting. So, dear viewers, unfortunately, we got limited time for our TV program. We could speak more about stars, but uh, sorry, we got <laughs> time to say goodbye. Dear yes. viewers, I was really excited to host today's uh, Good Morning Uzbekistan TV I program. I don't want to end up my show. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, and I wish you good luck. I wish you good mood. I wish you a, a lot of good things for you today. So, dear viewers. I love this atmosphere. I don't yeah. want to say bye.
Dear okay. viewers, unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, uh, goodbye. everybody, have a nice... Uh, did I bother you or no? No, no just continue. So, everybody, have a nice and beautiful day. Today is so ajayab day. Bye-bye. Goodbye.